Just got back in from town and I am so hot. It's crazy. It seems at the moment we just seem to be having one extreme of weather or the other. So it's either completely chucking it down or so hot and icky. Can you tell I don't really like the heat? I also don't like the cold though, so I can't really complain. I just don't like weather really. Well, I like sun with a breeze. I can deal with that. I'm going to eat lunch. I've got iced coffee. Have you ever been so thirsty when that you like but you haven't realized until you take that first sip of a drink and then the sips turn into gulps and before you know it the whole thing's gone yeah that happened it was good though really needed that coffee poundland had or well not poundland pound world a local kind of like a pound shop but not everything they sell is exactly a pound had pop tarts for one pound fifty Anyone who lives in America and is watching this um, might not understand this, but here in the UK, we don't get Pop-Tarts particularly. They're not a British thing. They are imported. Uh, we're lucky if we maybe get one or two flavours and they're always so expensive. Whereas I've been to America, I've seen that nearly every supermarket has at least a shelf and at least more than five flavours of Pop-Tarts. So to for our local pan world to stock fairly cheap Pop-Tarts is so good. I love them but I can't justify them um, normally because of cost and these will last me for a while. So exciting. I've got finally got an excuse to do some calligraphy um, rather than just writing, writing, writing because it's obviously Father's Day this weekend so I need to get a card in the post um, so that it gets hopefully, I've got first class stamps so it should hopefully get there by Sunday if I send it today and it's also Erin's birthday on Monday um, so I've got her a card as well, and yeah, I bought some cards while I was in town, and I got Erin a present as well. Um, so, but it's an excuse to crack out my fountain pen, not fountain pen, dip pen, and gold ink. So just as I was about to do my dad's card, it suddenly occurred to me, um, I don't have the same problem with errands because it's not going in the post, but I couldn't use the gold certainly on the outside of the envelope for my dad's card because it needs to be legible to go in the post. Um, so I've had to, cr and I don't really have any colours suitable for dip penning that are also post safe, so I've had to crack out the good old calligraphy fountain pen instead which kind of sucks. I was enjoying, like, in the gold.
amazing colour combination. It looks a bit silver in the picture, but it's like a purple stamp, and it goes brilliantly with green. It's like my favourite colour combination. I love purple and green. Father's Day card is posted. Um, I was going to video, and then there was people. Like, it's really, like, of course people hang out in the one place where it's the most awkward for everyone else to get to something. It's life. Um, anyway, Father's Day card is posted. I know it'd be cheaper to use first class stamps, uh, not first, second class stamps, but usually when I'm posting something, I only remember to do so right at the very last moment when only a first class stamp is going to get the card either there on time or only a day late rather than like several days late. So I have first class stamps. That's what I had to hand, rather than going out and buying stamps specially for it. I have a booklet of first class stamps, that's what I used. Um, where was this conversation going? That was it. I'll get back to you on that one. I'm going to wrap Erin's present while I remember, and because I can. Um, I had to go buy wrapping paper because I don't have any. It's not the sort of thing I have. Um, I got pirates. Not the most age appropriate wrapping paper, but um, it was all the same price and the stuff down the other end, so like the plain gold, silver and pink and like the age generic or and gender generic um, wrapping paper was all down the other end and literally as I got to the aisle, um, a toddler who wasn't in the buggy um, pushed her the buggy over backwards and of course typical mum had all her shopping on the back and mum was not impressed because she managed to smash a wine bottle that was in one of the bags um, so there was a huge mess and it was just awkward to try and get down the other end of the wrapping paper so I just grabbed the pirate stuff. Pirates are cool. I've got her a colouring book. Um, I'm reasonably happy with... Oh, I just noticed there's something sticky on there. Oh. Um, I'm reasonably happy with what I've got her. Um, I've got this colouring book. The patterns are reasonably... Um, like, it's got some nice patterns in it. Um, wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I really wanted, um, like, something a bit more detailed but everywhere has chosen now to stop selling the colouring books they've been selling all year and just sell ones with really rubbish patterns or pictures in that just aren't wasn't what I was looking for um, but this will do um, and then to go with it I've got her some colouring pencils and some felt tip pens because I wasn't sure which she'd prefer like I know personally, sometimes I prefer colouring pencils, other times I prefer pens. Like, everybody likes different things. got about 45 minutes before I need to leave for dance tonight. Um, I really need to do dishes, what's new, but um, just enough time to squeeze a little bit of colouring in. I'm about three quarters of the way through the one I, my um, pictures of the, my picture of the trees with the rain and then I can move on to something new. Um, but I like this one. It's so, I love the colours. I like bright colours, can you tell? Do you ever have it where you can smell something horrible but can't figure out where the smell's coming from? So I've, on and off this afternoon I've been smelling, it's kind of like a bit like a toasted marshmallow smell but not nice. I, that's the best thing I can think of to describe it. So I've removed all the likely culprit dishes like from my room which I thought had created the smell. But the smell is still there and I can't figure out where it's coming from. I've tried opening the window 
and it's not clearing very well. Um, yeah, this smells horrible. In the fact that it like it makes me feel nauseous. It's oh. icky. I am all icky, hot, and sweaty. I've just got in from dance. It was really good tonight, and I really enjoyed it. I think I was in the right mood. And I'm absolutely exhausted now, but it's like a good kind of tired. It means I've actually done some work kind of tired. <sighs> Although having a shower beforehand, not that I, I really needed a shower in the beginning first place, was not the bright, brightest of ideas because I might have to have another one today uh, because I'm all icky and sweaty and ugh. Because it's so hot. But it was a good workout. So I finally found the culprit. Um, that was causing the smell. It was the tub that I had Sugar Free Angel Delight in the other day. Um, of course it was the last thing I suspected when trying to search all the pile of tubs that's in my room. But um, I'm doing the dishes now, slowly. Um, at the moment I've got some stuff soaking because I may have created a few biohazards so they're like, sitting in a sink of like water and bleach. Um, Oh, was I? So I'm, even though it's nine o'clock at night, I'm plodding the way through my way through my dishes because I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and I really just need to do it. I don't know why remembering to do dishes is always so hard. It's just one of the things I really struggle with. Okay, so. The bad news is, I it wasn't the Angel Delight that was causing the smell. While the smell was similar, the Angel Delight happened to be sitting in what was causing the smell. And that's the good news, I think. Like, I want to say I'm 100% sure it's definitely right this time, um, that it was definitely the baked beans. Um, not that there are any beans left in it, it's just some leftover sauce um, that definitely has mold spots on. Um, brain fart. Uh, yeah, no. I, the good news is that I'm pretty sure I found what is the culprit. Finally, this has been driving me up the wall all evening because the smell was making me gag. And it's my room. I either hang out in my room. Like it was the head end of my bed as well, so I had to put up with it all night. Or the living room. I'd much rather hang out in my room. This is where I'm gonna leave you guys. Um, I'm gonna do my meditation and then go to bed because it's the end of the day, it's been a long day. Um, not a bad day, it's actually been a pretty good day, just a bit long. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye, um, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment so I know that I'm just not talking to myself, and I will see you in the morning, Good night.